What's up my friends? Actually I wanted to make an explanation video for the clone dice yesterday, but a brother on discord showed me the new random dice game. So of course I tried it out. And it was confusing for a minute, but like random dice itself I quickly started to enjoy it. I am very excited to read what you guys think about this game. Don't forget it is very new and not even one week old. However. For everyone who likes it or wants to try it out, I have a beginner deck for class 1 until class 12. Of course this deck is free to play and I will also explain how I use it. So let us start with the deck. You need the ice dice, the wind dice, the healing dice, the electric dice and the shield dice. You only need to get the healing dice, the rest you have from start on. I got my healing dice from a support chest after I lost the match. But you can also look in the item shop and maybe get it from there. Don't forget that you can also refresh the shop here. But I have not enough gold yet so I recommend for beginners not to reset the shop with gold. Let us start now with the way how I play it. Before we start with that very briefly, I don't say and I don't think that I am the best but this way of playing was in my opinion the most profitable strategy. I played it in between 3 or 4 hours from class 1 until class 12. But I can imagine very well that other people use different strategies and different decks. So feel free to write your opinion, your strategies or your decks below this video and let us just enjoy the game together. I always start the game like this. First of all I fill up my board and do not merge anything until my board is full. Before I start merging, I try normally to upgrade my SP level 2 times to get more SP for each wave. On the top you can always take a look which wave you are right now. And just who is interested for it, wave 30 is the maximum. After that you end up in a sudden deathmatch where both sides summon their complete teams and fight against each other. That means even if you have less HP than your opponent, you still have a chance to win if you can survive until then. So, never give up my friends. But even if you wanted to surrender, there is no option for that right now. However, after I have upgraded my SP level 2 times, I start merging to get more pips. At the same time, I try to have 3 to 4 tanks, that means shield dice on the board. In the best case, in the front row. It will spawn on the map exactly in that way how you place it your dice. This means a shield dice in the middle of the first row will also spawn in the middle of the first row on the map. In addition I try to get at least two of the ice and wind dice and one or two from the electric dice. And the rest heal, so as many healing dice as possible, in the best case behind the shield dice. After my setup is finished I start upgrading. First I start with healing dice and then I continue to upgrade the rest to 2, then to 3, then to 4. Except electric dice, I never upgrade more than once. You will know why after the all in one explanation. Shield dice is your tank and only attacks ground enemies. Wind dice attacks ground and air enemies and deals the highest damage. Ice dice attacks ground and air enemies and has a 35% chance for a stun. Healing dice always heals the closest ally with the lowest HP and attacks ground and air enemies as well. Electric dice is sometimes good and sometimes bad. It only attacks ground enemies and it can nothing do against air enemies. And the HP is also very weak. I recommend to replace the electric dice with the legendary rock dice once you get it from the class 10 reward at 600 trophies. I prefer the rock dice much more than the electric dice. If you take also the rock dice, try always to place one of it on each row from left to right. So that the rock dice hits as many as possible. But you must always take a look at your opponent. If he tries to counter your rock dice with air enemies, then you must merge it away. However, my friends. That's all I have to say for now. I hope that's firstly enough for you and will help you a little bit at the beginning. 
If you wanna see more explanations or gameplays or decks about this game in the future, just press the like button or write it in the comments my brothers and sisters. I am really excited what kind of evolution this game will have and how long we will be a part of it. Have fun and good luck in it. See you soon my friends.